totally been disowned and the Australian people, especially the people in Eltham, this rally today, but our farmers have been completely disowned. And Farmer John uh, is the Aussie Farmers First is the organisation that he represents and a couple of months ago he organised a protest on behalf of the dairy farmers. Um, so I'd like to introduce uh, Aussie, Aussie, yeah, Farmer John. Here he is. Thank you very much. Thanks, Nick. Very good. Very good. G'day, guys. How you going? Now, uh, a few of you might have followed the UPF for a while and followed the things that myself and others have done. <laughs> but the most profound thing that we do is what's right for the community. Now, with my group, what me and Jake do is raise awareness of the drought and the plight of the farmers. What's so hard for everyone to understand in the cities is that without farmers, you won't have any food. But sadly what it is all about is the foreign ownership's an issue and putting funds in the hands of people like Indonesia, giving them $400 million, for what? And then the list goes on and on. Now they're spending $900 million on these refugees. That's what I get told. I'm like, well, why? Why are we spending money on refugees? We should be helping our own first. And there's simple, four people, I say. The disabled, we should help them. The elderly, we should definitely help them. That's why we're here today, guys. We should help the farmers and give them a bit of a leg up. But people that need the help, not refugees and people that just don't want to fix their own country. Their country's a beautiful place. It was the last 20, 30 years. Why are they coming here and wrecking us? It's too hard basket. It's like dole blood. You say, oh, I can't get a job. Give me some money. Well, the refugees are just the same. Africa's a beautiful place. People go there for a holiday. Why are they coming here? Can't they stay in their own country and look after it? I'm sure they're lovely people, but you don't want Islam in your backyard. And that's the problem that we face, is the government is spending all this money to house people here in communities that don't want the disruption. Now, I'll pose a question to everyone here. Do you guys want violence in your neighbourhood? Do you want people being hurt and injured? Do you want people to feel safe in your community? Of course you do. Do you want violence against the police? Do you want the cops to do their job and make sure you've got a safe community and make it easy for them? Yes. So it's a simple thing. Is Why are we putting people in a position where they're going to terrorise the neighbourhood? Look at Noble Park. Just look at it. It's fucked. <laughs> say it like it is. No political correctness. No, there's lefty. Oh, don't say that, John. Fuck it. It is screwed. We have carjackings. We have rapes. We have violence all the time. Why? Why is this problem happening? It's because the government has spent all this money helping these people come here. You may some are racist because they don't like African people coming here. No, there's nothing wrong with African people if they've got a job. My doctor's an African man. He's a lovely bloke. Great family. But the ones out there that don't have a job, they're carjacking people, they're raping people, they're attacking people. Do you want that in Eltham? Of course you don't. So why the hell would you give them a roof over their head at the retirement village? It's just not on. You, would you say to your grandparents, oh, you've got a spare room in the house when my mum and dad moved out? Hey, um, how about we house some repos in your house? Your grandparents wouldn't be safe, would they? So why the bloody hell, when the government's giving your grandparents some housing, you're going to let some immigrants in here, right in their backyard, in their spare bedroom, so to speak? You wouldn't bloody do it. You wouldn't do it to your family. You wouldn't do it to your friends. So why are we not sticking up for these people that can't help themselves? They gave a lot for our country back in the old wars and the old days, and they made our country what it is today. So we should back them up and help them, shouldn't we? Yes. Let me hear it. Come on, what are we going to do? Back them up? Yes. A lot of proud Australians I see here today, I saw in Bendigo. I saw in July 8th, July 8th the start of this. I saw them in March 1st. I saw them at all the rallies. A lot of these people that you see that have come here today. The soldiers of Aden have come here, the TVC's come here, Blair's come here from UPF and a few other UPF members, a few people from Reclaim that I know I work with, good people. All these groups in the Patriot Movement, and I truly believe that is the greatest movement we have because we have a different demographic we need to reach out to. I reach out to rural people. Blair reaches out to the construction workers. Kane reaches out to people that are downtrodden and you know work hard for the community. You know, he's done a lot of community work. Good bloke. Blair's done a lot of work too. Solid Ramona, good guys. They're working hard, keeping the community safe. Reclaim Australia, they're informing people. They get on the computer. Sorry, guys, keep your worries. 
But uh, everyone plays their part in this fucking movement. And I'm sick of the, all the infight and everyone saying, oh, this creep done this. Who gives a fuck? How about we start working together? Make our community safe again. None of this hide more on the fucking keyboard. Get your asses in the gear. Go out and tell all your friends and say, right, talk to your neighbour next door and say, did you know Islam is fucking dangerous to our society? Do you know Islam is promoting hatred and hurting people and violence against women? I don't stand for that shit. Do you? Then stand up and fight for what you believe in. It's all in here, guys. It's all in here. So when you leave today, I want you to do one fucking thing. Get out there and start educating people. Don't don't say it's too hard. Get off the damn keyboards. Talk to your neighbours. Talk to your work colleagues and say, do you know that this is what's coming? Look at Noble Park, guys. Just look at it. Look at Western Sydney. It's it's terrible. So what we need to do is just start talking to people. Don't, don't pressure them. Just say, do you know what's going on? And simply that's it. All the different groups need to fucking work together because this is the best goddamn country in the world. We're a fucking joke. Why is our patriot movement falling apart? Because no one can work together. Everyone needs to bloody work together and rise up and defend this Islam, which is coming here to fuck up our country. We need to rise up against the politicians and say, stop spending money on people that don't deserve it. Start helping the farmers. Start helping the elderly. Start helping the disabled. The people that can't help themselves, we should help them. Not people that can walk around and drive a car and get handouts or because they come on a fucking boat. It's time to stand up for what you believe in Australia. Our grandparents did it and we're going to do it for them because they're here and we're here to say no more putting refos in retirement villages. No more making our communities unsafe. It's time to stand up, Australia. Are we going to make our community safe? Yeah. Let me hear it, guys. Yeah. Aussie Pride nationwide. Do you guys believe that? Well, I want to hear it. I want to make sure everyone understands we're going to make sure no one gets hurt because of the refugees and the crisis we're facing. Everyone needs to work together. We can all play our part. Aussie pride, guys. Thank you very much. Farmer John, and what he was saying there at the end about unity, it's so important. United we stand, divided we fall. And today is just an example of different groups coming together, and it's great to see. And, you know, I, I just recommend to anybody, any patriot, doesn't matter what event it is, if, it's a, you, if you agree in the position or the, what the rally's about, you've got to make an effort to attend it because... Uh, you know, numbers are just so important. Seeing large numbers at rallies just makes a strong signal out to the government and out to the community that this nonsense and this treason is not going to be tolerated anymore. Tune in tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel. Bye for now.